All right, guys, this is the biggest news ever. I can't believe I'm even talking about this, but just now the Hollywood Reporter dropped that the original screenwriter of the original Jurassic Park and the Lost World Jurassic Park is back to write a new Jurassic Park movie that's not only been in development for a while, but it might even come out in 2025. Uh, I'm going to go over the article right now before I go any further. Although it's been two years since the last time dinosaurs roamed the Earth in 2022's Jurassic World Dominion, Universal Pictures has hardly kept its biggest franchise trapped in amber. The studio's deep into development of an all-new Jurassic World movie and has David Kep back at the keyboard. Kep was the writer of the original 1993 Jurassic Park, famously directed by Steven Spielberg and its sequel 1997's The Lo- <laughs> Come on, man. The Lost World Jurassic Park. The project, which has been flying under the radar, is far enough along and the script in a well-liked shape that the studio is whispering of a possible 20 20- 25 release date. There is no director on board, but Frank Marshall, the veteran and celebrated producer who oversaw the Jurassic World trilogy, is back producing as is another Jurassic vet, Patrick Crowley. Spielberg will executive produce via his Amblin Entertainment banner. It is unclear what form the relaunch is taking. It is known to be relaunching a, quote, new Jurassic era per sources with an all new storyline that would seem to rule out the return of the characters played by Jurassic World stars Chris Pratt and Bryce Dallas Howard. And it seems characters featured in the original Jurassic Park movies played by Sam Neill, Laura Dern, and Jeff Goldblum would not be involved. The fact that it's being called a new Jurassic World instead of Jurassic Park may also be telling, not so sure, and I'll get to that later. That would suggest that the franchise is likely not taking a back-to-basics approach, but could go to parts unknown. Executive VP of Production Development Sarah Scott and Creative Executive of Production Development Jacqueline Garrell will oversee the project for Universal. Kep is the veteran screenwriter whose credits range from the original Mission Impossible, the first Spider- Spider-Man movie, Indiana Jones and the Kingdom of the Crystal Skull, and last year's Indiana Jones and the Dial of Destiny. Um, all right, let's dive into this, guys. Straight up, I'm going to say this is probably the biggest news Jurassic Park Park fans have gotten since uh, 2014 or 2015 when Jurassic World was coming out, which is another thing to say. Colin Trevorrow's name is nowhere on any of this. He is gone. I don't think he's involved in this movie at all, at least not right now, and they've definitely been working behind the scenes on this for a while because the writer's strike didn't end that long ago and for them to throw David Kep, the original writer of Jurassic Park and The Lost World back out there to make another one of these, that's kind of a massive deal and it tells me, especially with the video game Jurassic Park Survival coming out, this is something that they've probably been thinking about for a while. I would go as far to say that maybe way back when they were filming Dominion they knew that that movie would not land the way they wanted it to and they probably said, okay, we we really need to rejig this and probably go back to our roots. I don't know how else you could say getting the writer of Jurassic Park in the Lost World is not going back to Jurassic Park's roots. I mean, there it all is. So with this information, there's no director announced just yet. Uh, I gotta be honest with you guys, uh, I had a conversation with a friend of mine that actually works in the industry, and we we talked about it over the phone, because this, he was the one that called me, he just started making, like, siren noises, like, woohoo, I thought it was a joke about Scott Steiner's actual, like, theme music. I was like, what's going on right now? Think about this, uh, I don't know what Spielberg's schedule's looking like in the immediate future, but he brought up maybe Spielberg saw Indiana Jones and the Dial of Destiny and it popped in his head that he can never let another person touch like his work again because of that film. I, I Look, I've never been the biggest fan of Kingdom of the Crystal Skull, but I, I do think I kind of prefer that movie over Dial of Destiny. And I'll just say this, honestly guys, Jurassic Park is a franchise. I literally just rewatched Jurassic Park and The Lost World. Like literally yesterday I watched The Lost World again. And David Kep wrote both of those movies. Uh, I don't know if that was providential, but I will say it was timely because we're going back to basics. And look, they want to launch a new Jurassic era. I don't know what that means. I know a lot of people are kind of confused as to where they could even go after Dominion, but they have a script and they're fast tracking it. And this thing is getting made. A lot of people, I would assume, are under the impression that this is actually going back to Jurassic Park roots, not in Jurassic World, like the article says. I think they just use the world the word world like to mention all of the franchise in general now but I could be wrong now I've seen a lot of people kind of skeptical on whether 
or not this would even work. And I gotta be honest with you, I understand completely. That being said, I made videos uh, a year and a half ago I never put out where I, I just, I was, I really was bummed out about Jurassic World Dominion. That movie has disappointed me more than I think any, the only other movie that disappointed me personally more than Dominion was The Last Jedi. And like th that meant, that movie Dominion, I don't understand what the point was of having a National Lampoon station wagon drop off a baby raptor to blue in the woods, like very 1980s and strange and not clicking with people like me that grew up with this. Never gonna give you up, never gonna let you down. And I mean, I've been vocal. I want Jurassic Park to be Jurassic Park again, but not just for the sake of it. I want it to be good. So throwing David Kep back in there doesn't automatically mean the seventh Jurassic Park movie is going to be, you know, uh, knock out of the park. I mean, like I said, I, I went over the guy's credentials, but to be fair, David Kep, like who else are you going to get? Michael Crichton has passed away. And to be fair, David Kep is really the one that wrote the original Jurassic Park screenplay because you can go back and watch or I mean, you can look up the Michael Crichton draft before Kep's rewrite, and it's vastly different, much more like the novel. So, yeah, I mean, I gotta be honest with you, they even tried to get Kep to save Jurassic World Dominion, along with, like, seven other writers, and they just, that's why that movie is such a mashed mess of ideas. This is gigantic news. I don't know who's gonna direct. M my hope would be Spielberg. My runner-up would be Peter Jackson for his work on King Kong. After that, possibly uh, maybe Bryce Dallas Howard, uh, Ridley Scott's a good idea. I don't honestly know. I'm just saying guys, when it comes to Jurassic Park stuff and after the Camp Cretaceous stuff kept rolling out and getting crazy with the super battle droids and you know, all the stuff they introduced there. Uh, I think Dominion's the worst Jurassic Park movie by a country mile. I want this to be very good. I have no idea how they're gonna fast track it to 2025. My best guess is they saw some early stuff from Dominion before that movie even came out and we're like, uh-oh, this is not going to work. So I don't know. I, I, I'm shocked. This is the most surprising news I think Jurassic Park fans have gotten in a very, very long time. I'm going to be straight up honest with you guys. I can't think of anyone else that I would want to write a Jurassic Park movie. I'm shocked he's coming back. And yeah, I, I get I get the, you know, the, the worriness over people that didn't like Indiana Jones and the Dial of Destiny and other stuff. I wasn't the biggest fan of that movie either. But I mean, this, they're literally going back to the very, very old school roots of Jurassic Park. And like I said, I mean, if Spielberg's like schedule is open, don't be surprised if he signs on. I mean, I've already said before in the past, I would love for that to happen. We're gonna have to wait and see. I have no clue what to expect going forward. Like absolutely no idea. I mean, it could very well be Colin Trevorrow returning to direct, but his name's not listed in any of this. And in fact, he's off doing other stuff like Atlantis and Halcyon. So tell me what you guys think about all this. God bless you all. I love you all. I want to hear all your opinions. I don't even know what to think right now. Like, dude, I, I literally just watched Jurassic Park in the Lost World. And now David Kep's like, hey, I'm back to do like the official JP3. I don't know. Just let me know, guys. I want it to be good. If the movie's terrible, it's terrible. But this looks like it's been in development for a, a while because they had to have been planning this before the writer's strike. I think they knew they needed to get kept back in there uh, years ago, but those are all just my own thoughts and opinions. Whatever yours happen to be, I would love to hear all about them in the comments. Love you guys, love you guys down below. Now, before I go, I wanna thank everyone that's helped me build my channel over the years. I'd also like to thank every one of you guys who've watched my stuff. You've all been extremely cool to me. If you enjoyed the video, I'd appreciate a like and hope that you'll consider subscribing. God bless you all. Christ is King. See you guys in the next video. And as always, take it easy.